안녕하세요 여러분. Today, Ace is sharing his preset pack for Trap Code Particulate. You can download the pack using the links below. If you enjoy the video, please don't forget to hit the like button below and subscribe to the channel. If you'd like to support Ace, you can become a patron and get all of his presets and project files for free. Don't forget to join the Discord. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Hey guys, Ace here, and today we're going to be looking at my preset pack for Trapco Particular. I've got 10 different versions in here, and I've also got a depth of field preset for you. So if you're trying to create abstract scenes or just add overlays to your projects, you can do that. And um, it's kind of like presets for you to adjust and um, kind of fit to your liking. So don't just copy paste these when you when you use them. You kind of want to adjust them for whatever you're making. So I'll show you guys each one and I'll give some tips and advice on how to use them. So this first one's kind of self-explanatory. It's kind of just dust particles floating up and you can kind of overlay this over your scene and timer map them to where they can be slower or moving much faster depending on what you're trying to do. Um, but I usually just throw this on and add depth of field and then timer map it to the speed that I'm trying to get. So this next one is the collision fluid, which is one I've shown in a tutorial before. Um, but this one's a little bit easier to render and I've made some adjustments to make this much, much more fun to work with. So check this one out and have some fun with it. In this next one, we've got kind of the dust particle method again, but I added some tendrils with a difference of the um, emit probability. You can see that when you um, download the pack for yourself, but um, I think it just adds more variety and makes the scene more interesting. Okay, so this next one is probably my favorite out of the bunch. It's called the Nebula. I kind of did something new with the, um, the fluid systems in particular, and it's kind of an abstract object that you can create and you know change the colors on it and create some really, really interesting things. Um, but yeah, this one I would use with um, FL Depth of Field for sure, because it would create much more depth. So next we've got something that I thought was really cool. I, um, I titled it the Particle Beam, but honestly you can use this in many different ways. I felt like if you're creating a Cinema 4D scene and you wanted you know, particles coming out of an object that you created, I think this would be really, really cool. Um, and also you can animate it using the, um, the position of the emitter. You do some really cool stuff with that as well. But yeah, FL Depth of Field will definitely make this one look much better too. So next we have the snowfall look, which is much simpler to use. Um, it's something I would definitely time remap to slow down or speed up depending on the type of scene. And you can change the angle that they are moving at using the uh, physics effects and the position of the emitter. But yeah, this one's um, really handy to use if you're looking for that effect. So here we have the spherical fluid. This is a revisit from a tutorial before and I updated the settings so they're easier on your CPU. And um, that's pretty much all there is to it. So this one, if you didn't notice, is inspired from the uh, Faith AMV that I did. Um, this is one I'm calling the uh, Star Trail. It's um, some white particles with um, some RGB colored particles emitting from the um, aux system. So you can throw this under text or you can throw this, you know, going different directions because I used a mask to, um, to animate on that path. But yeah, you can uh, be really creative with this one. So next we have the single tendril. This one I would suggest animating across a path because um, it's standing still. I guess you could use it some way or fashion, but um, I'm gonna show you a quick animation. If you just change the position of the emitter and then um, play that animation, it'll do something a little bit different than just sitting still. I think it looks really cool. So this one is our last revisit from our previous tutorial. This one's the uh, Vortex Fluid. I changed the settings to make them easier to render on your CPU and GPU. So you can um, up the particle count much higher without taxing your GPU too much. So our last one is the Vortex Rings, which I kind of was inspired off of a HUD to uh, create. And I feel like you could increase or lower the particle count on this one and create some much, much um, more unique scenes. So you can... Um, change the size of it as well and create like a wallpaper or you can decrease the size and create something very small and very aesthetic if you wanted to. So so those are the different looks that I created with Particular and I'll show you a couple of them with Depth of Field turned on. So if you guys want this pack you can find the link down in the description below and um, don't forget that Patreon supporters get all these packs for free and don't forget to like the video and subscribe if you enjoyed and I'll see you guys next time.